we excrete our fecal matter is also enriched in nature because of this <coughs> bilirubin and bilirubin, which is found in the bile juice. Okay, whenever this bile juice is blocked, <coughs> <coughs> you know that. So that is because of bile juice blockage. So bilirubin, bilirubin, then uh, they secrete two, two salts: sodium chloroprolate, sodium glycoprolate. You will not remember that. But they don't have any enzymes. Then what is the purpose of bile juice? Emulsification of fats. When you are extracting butter from curd, so you would be doing the process of churning it. Similar to that it does. So emulsification of fats, they are broken down into simpler components, globulates or globules are formed. That is done by bile juice. Okay, apart from uh, yellowing up of the food that it takes place because of bile and bile pigment. Now pancreatic juice and uh, the pancreatic juice also secretes amylase. Pancreatic amylase we call it as amylopsin. You can just remember some of them, not all. Pancreatic amylase. Then steaxin is pancreatic fat. Lipase, pancreatic lipase, we call it as steaxin, another name for it. There are various sucrase, maltase, all these enzymes break down. Sucrose is broken down as fructose and glucose. Maltase breaks down maltose into glucose and galactose, or glucose and glucose, whatever it is. Okay, I just cross check that. Okay. So lactose is broken down by lactase enzyme. All that happens in the duodenum part. So you have to be very aware about what is exactly happening. So that is where the maximum digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, fats takes place. So in the large intestine, I told you it is majorly meant for absorption of water, minerals, and some of the drugs that we might have taken. So those chemicals are taken and it is uh, passed on to the bloodstream in the simplest form, like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids. Our uh, bloodstream does not have chapatis, palaus flowing there. It has put in the form of glucose, amino acids, fatty acids. That's the reason whenever you are very sick, you are not able to consume food, you require energy. They give you the drips which is nothing but dextrose or glucose. They don't give you fat rice or uh, <laughs> other things in drips for it. Because digested food is required. If you wait for the person asking to eat and wait for digestion, you might have expired by that time. <laughs> so the best way to immediately the uh, basic food part of it, glucose, was injected into the patients. And the digested food part of it is. So remember about all this aspect of it. Now we come for the last part that is uh, disorders of digestive system. So some things that you might notice in kids, especially young in infants, uh, some of the mothers here you might have exposed them to the sun because the liver and spleen is not completely developed when they are very young. So the bile juice has to be removed. There might be some pigmentation also. Sunlight helps in uh, overcoming this morning sunlight. I don't know about morning sunlight. It helps in overcoming this neonatal jaundice. Initial stages that they have and why wouldn't be removed from there. So, uh, jaundice is obstruction of the bile juice and that enters into the bloodstream to different parts of our body. When it enters the eye, you see everything in a yellow glass. So, anyway, jaundice is obstruction of bile juice. Okay. Then, uh, vomiting, it's a process of ejection of. Food that you have consumed. Many times it's of survival value. Sometimes it is not palatable, it is thrown out of our body as vomiting. Sometimes if there is some infection of stomach or intestine part of it, there is inflammation. Inflammation is good for you on those layers. It also leads to vomiting, expelling the food that we have consumed. Okay? So, diarrhea, wherein the stool or excreta would be watery in nature. So, and uh, what exactly happens here is excess of food is lost. They are not uh, reabsorbed into our body. The nutrients from this food is lost in a watery manner 
So there is uh, no nutrients being absorbed when such happens. It has to be always be digested. The excreta should be in semi solid nature. So diarrhea or DCP, excess of uh, nutrients would be lost through those processes. That's the reason ORS, oral rehydration solution. You know about that. Our electron. If you don't have ORS, what you have to do is take yeah. a fish stock, sugar. It might vary from hand to hand. Pinch of salt. Don't pinch this off. Pinch of salt. <laughs> Add it into one liter of water, stir it well, frequently, uh, hydrate the patient suffering from uh, diet. It might be handy for you wherever you come across. Take first.